Hey guys, KT here. Welcome back some more. Tell me why. Well, last time we uh, continued on solving puzzles in Marianne's uh, little attic room. And I'm currently stuck on one. And I could easily cheat my way out of this. But I am trying not to. So, maybe house, school, time, friends. Maybe that's what it's set up for? Hold on. Let's, let's take a look. Hold on. Hold on. Castle, school... Hey, Allison, I need you Some to sort move. Of clock? This looks Thank like you. a dinner party with the. This is the princesses. Come on. Okay, this is shit. This is shit. Allison, I need your help. Hey, Allison, when I when I'm over here, like, hey, can I get your help? Where Where are you going? Like, I don't know why you keep walking back and forth. Like, you don't know what you're doing. Okay. Unless... I don't think it'd be backwards, would it? Well, let's try backwards. Maybe that's... Stupid! But I'm willing to give it a shot. So... This is the princess's house. Friends... This looks like a dinner party with the some sort of clock. What's that plant thing on? That's the gold lady. Come on. Huh. Okay, she ran away to the forest. Okay, hold on. That's the gold lady's castle. Some sort of clock? What's that plant thing? This is the princess's house. This looks like a dinner. Come on. Okay, I'm doing something wrong here. I don't know what it is. This looks like a dinner party with the whole- What's that plant? This is the princesses. Come on. Okay. Allison, I, I would appreciate some help here. Um. Okay, so. Uh, Salmon Park. Anything of Sandy use. Park. June of, kind of 1992. Looks like it. So what? Is this dated? Oh, hold on. I that. just realized there's dates. You know, other people. Both of her parents kind of sound like jerks. I would have okay. run away too. 1996. Wow. She worked for a watchmaker in Juno before she moved to Delos. Is there a year? No wonder okay. she was so handy. Okay, okay, okay. I wonder so difficult. So I'm guessing school Okay, this is saying this is from oh, this is the same year. What what day is what month is this? Cause this actually might come in handy. Salmonberry Park. Huh. June, June, June. Kind of when is you? June? Looks like it. it has to be like Wow. She worked for a watchmaker in Juno. Yeah, okay. To June has to be before. Okay. No wonder she was so handy. Okay, right, I think I know what we're aiming here for. Here we go. Here we go. Let's try this again. I think I got it. So we got What's school. That plant thing on She's top? gonna work. Some sort of clock. That's the gold lady's cast. She's there. This is the princess's house. This looks like a dinner. Come on. Okay, hold on. Maybe it was before. Hold on. She gets this the house. The house. She this makes looks friends. Like a dinner party with the old bear. That's the gold lady. Come on. Okay, let's deselect this. Let's try this a different way. Let's That's go the here. Gold lady's castle. This looks like a dinner. Come on. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Unselect That's that. The gold lady's castle. Gold this lady, the princess's boom, house. This boom. looks like a dinner. Come on. Wait, I already did that combination. This didn't looks I? like a dinner party with the. This is the princess's. Come on. Hmm. This is the princess's house. house. Friends. This looks like a dinner party. That's the gold lady. Come on. Or maybe it wasn't the house. Maybe it wasn't the house that came next 
That's the gold lady's castle. This looks like a dinner party with the oh, this is the princesses. Come on. What am I missing here? Tyler, we're not done with this one. I know that. Okay, okay, I gotta have a start here. Why why is there no like dates on these pictures? That would help me a lot. Um Is that Carol? Yeah, and Sam. Look at him. He's so young and happy. Okay, unless Okay, let's try this a different way. Let's try this a different way here. So we start out with the school. It's unselected all. So we're gonna That's start with here. She What's went that to school. Plant thing on she top? graduated. Oh, some sort of clock. Went to work. Then at the work princess. she got a house. This and then she like got a friends. Dinner party with the old bear and the very old beef. I don't know why that took yes. me forever to figure that out. I'm What's fucking stupid. Another letter? Yeah, let's the take a look. Is, lost. is this from the Book of Goblins? Not that I know of. Well, sure looks like it could be. Okay. The Princess Lost. Once upon a time, in an ancient and deep forest, there lived a wise princess in a big wooden house. She had made it through the woods and to that house uh, okay, hold on. To that house with nothing left but the clothes on her back and a single item from her old life. A splendid tiara. She lost almost everything in her desperate fight, flight from the Mad Hunter. The trees tore the rock, rucksack from her back and shed her stress and left a pat pattern of red welt on her ba skin. But through it all, she clutched the tiara close to her chest, fearing any misstep could cause it all to fall from her arms and break. The tiara had its own spot in the big wooden house, a pillow near the window where sun would catch on its surface to shine and wink. The princess could stare for hours at the tiara, at the tiara mar marveling in its beauty and running her thumb down its curves. Every morning she would wake and she would tend to it, polishing its every surface to be sure it shine as bright as it possibly could. Then she would pluck it up place it upon her head, and walk the woods, feeling somehow more complete. Because what, after all, was a princess without a crown? Every night, she would place it upon its pillow, give it a, bit, a quick kiss, and go to bed. On her way, she would pause and glance back to be sure it was still there. She hated to be separated from it, but she knew it was, safely, the, it was safest on the pillow while she slept. Alright, let's turn the page. One night, the princess woke to a raging storm. The wind howled against the walls, rattling the windows in her in their panes. Fearing a gust might burst open the window and blow the tiara to the ground, she plucked it from its pillow and brought it to bed with her. All throughout through the night, she held the tiara close, and in the morning, she woke to find herself still cradling it. The storm had passed, and the princess relaxed. That day was the same, same as any other, though she perhaps gave the tiara on even more, hold on, she perhaps gave the tiara uh, an even more thorough cleaning, grateful as she was that nothing had gone wrong. That night she placed the tiara upon its pillow, gave it a quick kiss, and went to bed, pausing on her way to be sure it was still there. In the morning, she wake and woke and sensed immediately that something was wrong in the living room. Uh, oh, and something was wrong. In the living room, the tiara lay upon the ground, broken, dull, dull and faded. Nothing else in the room has, had changed. The pillow was exactly where she had left it. The window was closed. There, was n there had been no storms, no wind, no sign that anything at all could have gone amiss. Only the broken tiara, mute upon the ground, she picked it up and held it in her arms with a glut guttural cry, gu guttural cry. Uh, but though she tried to fix and polish, uh, and to polish it, it was gone beyond repair and with no shine left. The princess held the tiara through the day and through the night, sitting in the same spot at the window where she used to polish it. <coughs> When the sun rose, she looked outside and her gaze fixed on the sapling. She remembered how the, the sapling had survived the winter, clinging to life despite the fro 
frozen, unforgiving earth. Without a word, she went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling, and as the final scoop of dirt fell, the tiara fell truly gone, and with it, the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world, where she was no longer truly a princess with a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan, a wan woman uh, alone in a deep and ancient wood. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure and her title. Okay, I got a next. Oh, that just brings me back to the beginning. Okay. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure and her title. That was the story she read us that night. God, that makes sense now. Yeah, she got pregnant. She ran away to start a new life. And then she made her way to Delos Crossing, where she was finally happy. But then the baby died. I can't even imagine how she must have felt. She left everything behind. Built a whole new life for him. And then... He was just gone. I guess having us helped her move on. But... When it looked like we were gonna be taken away... She snapped. She just couldn't lose any more children. It really wasn't anything we did. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with all this. I don't either, but... All I wanted was to understand what happened to her. And now I do. Yeah. We still haven't seen what's in that chest. Okay, so how do we open it? Well, one, I need to break this open. This. There's a crowbar right downstairs. What? No. You don't want to try and figure out what all this means? I'm so done with her riddles. Well, hey, we figured out the riddle very quickly. Wait, I fucked it up. I put it right back in place. What am I doing? It, it was supposed to be Leo. Guessing that's the name of the son she yes she lost, huh? Well, did it just get darker in here? Molly, she, uh, she noticed. Dear Allison and Ollie, your son. we write stories to understand and be un and be understood. But what good is a story without a first act? I'm sorry I kept mine from you for so long. All my love, goblins. Why does she have a photo of that tree locked in here? Leo Ronan. Why didn't she tell us about him? Why didn't she tell us any of this? I mean, it's fucking terrible. That's why. Allie, did we do the right thing opening this? We did. It's better we know what happened, even... even if it's hard. There's one more thing we need to see. Are you sure? Yes. Come on. Let's go to the dock. It's time to finish this. Hold on, hold on. I wasn't done searching through that box. Like, there's this right here. I'm very curious. Hey, now that we're done with the important stuff, maybe we can take a crack at these. 
Sure, why not? Bears gifts for the princess. I'm totally blanking on that story. Okay, gifts to the princess. So old bear. Oh, is this the same thing what where I have to? Again? Why don't we open up the book and check? Okay, so some honey. Wait. Wait, hold on. Uh, let's take a look real quick. Maybe there's more. Oh my god. Uh, let's go ahead. Uh, read it. Of course, you'll. I can walk with you back to your home. Of course, princess. Uh, she turned, brush out his fur, the pick berries without soothing. Wait, hold on. I'm skipping through a lot. I'm really. Trying not to. Fresh caught salmon? Wait. A newly bloomed bluebell? Actually, I'm not sure. A handful of ripe berries? Wait. Hazelnuts? Wait. Some roses, maybe? Maybe not. Some honey? Okay, I see the wolf or in not. the background. Um. I just need to see what was the gift. Of course, the old bear walked through the forest, but after a day, the princess finds gifts for the bear. Fresh caught salmon, a handful of ripe berries, a newly bloomed bluebell. Okay. So, salmon. Fresh caught A newly bloomed bluebell? A handful of ripe berries? There we go. Nice. Man. He had it bad. Just couldn't let go. Sorry for the note under the door like a prison inmate. You okay? I stopped by and rang a couple times this week, but you didn't answer. I could see the light in the ha hayloft, so I figured you were in but didn't want to talk. I hope I didn't ruin everything. I know I probably came on kind of strong, but the thing is, I don't know how to talk to a woman like you. You are strong and kind and you know as so much it's hard for me to know how to keep up. I guess all that went to my mind but I want to know you to know I got the message and I'm going to get out of your hair now and there doesn't need to be any bad feelings. We can pass in the street and say hello or not. It's okay. P.S. I noticed your car was leaking so I put some sa sailor in there. You might need to take it to the shop, though. Let me know if you want to come with... If you want me to come with you, because sometimes these guys try to rip you off. If not, no big deal, Sam. Okay, interesting. So we're going to get more backstory from this. All right, well, guys, we're going to go ahead. We're going to end it here. If you enjoy, make sure to like, subscribe, check out the links in the description below. It really helps out. And I'm going to try to do the rest of these stories as we go on. So, yeah. Bye. Uh...